A key concept. Arithmetic is bookkeeping. You're tracking how many of what unit. And as long as we have symbols for the how many and some way to represent the unit, we can record any amount we want. If we have a large number of objects, we can bundle them in sets, then trade for a larger unit. To avoid the problem of naming the larger units, we'll just refer to them as small, medium, large, extra large, and if we need additional names, we'll use them, but we probably won't be dealing with amounts that large. So let's express the amount shown in base 5. In base 5, any set of 5 can be traded for one of the next larger unit. So we'll identify a couple of sets of 5. So here's a set of 5. And we'll bundle. Here's another set of 5. We'll bundle. And, well, we don't have quite enough left here to make another set. Now we can trade our sets of 5 for one of the next larger unit. So let's make those trades. And so we see that all together we have 2 medium and 3 small. Now, as long as we explicitly indicate the units and the base, order doesn't matter. Here, we have 2 medium and 3 small, and that's writing it in base 5. We could also describe this as 3 small and 2 medium, base 5. Or we could be creative and say something like base 5, 3 small, 2 medium. But that's a lot of writing, and you might wonder if there's an easier way of doing this. And in fact, we can write fewer words at a price. And that price is we have to be a little bit organized. We must choose an order to list the units, and we must always use that order. For example, if we wanted to start with the largest units first, we have 2 medium and 3 small. We can just record 2 and 3. Now, to avoid confusion, we should also record what base we're working with, and so we'll spell that out and subscript it. Also, to avoid confusion, we should really read this as 2, 3, base 5. So let's express the amount shown in base 3, 4, and 5. In base 3, we begin by bundling sets of 3. And so we have, well, actually we have more than 3 of these sets of 3. And remember, in base n, n of any unit form 1, of the next larger unit. And since we have more than three of the sets of three, we can bundle to form a larger unit. So arithmetic is bookkeeping, and what we have is one large, one medium, and two small. And so we can record our amount as one, one, two, base three. Now, if we want to express our amount in base 4, we'll break our collections apart. And in base 4, we begin by bundling sets of 4. And again, arithmetic is bookkeeping, and so we have 3 medium, 2 small, and the amount is 3, 2, base 4. Again, if we want to express the amount in base 5, we'll break our collections apart. And in base 5, we begin by bundling sets of 5. So, arithmetic is bookkeeping, 
and we have two medium, four small, and so the amount shown is two four base five. Now, because we know, so to speak, how to write numbers, sometimes we'll write down incorrect amounts. So let's see if we can fix something. Suppose we write down 1, 5, base 4. Let's write the amount correctly. So arithmetic is bookkeeping. How many of which units? And what we've written appears to say that we have 1 medium and 5 small. Let's go ahead and draw that amount. But since this is base 4, we're supposed to bundle sets of 4. So here's a set of 4 we can bundle. And so we actually have 2 medium and 1 small. And the number should be written as 2, 1, base 4. One final idea, as long as we explicitly indicate our units, we have no problem recording amounts. 4 large, 2 medium, or 4 medium, 2 small, or 4 large, 2 small. And these are all obviously different from each other, but what if we omit the units? The problem is that if we do that, all of these become 4 2, and then whatever our base is, and at that point, how could we tell them apart? So it helps to be organized. In a place value chart, we sort the amounts into each category. Then record how many of which units, including when we have none of a unit. So here in this first row, we have four of these things, two of these things, and zero of these. So we'll record those amounts four, two, zero. In the second row, we have four of these and two of these. So we'll write those amounts down. And we might indicate that we have zero of these but we usually omit leading zeros. And in the last row, we have four of these and two of these, so we record those amounts, and zero of these amounts in the middle. So let's say we want to express the amount shown in base four, so bundling and trading sets of four, And we have another set of four we can trade. We can organize these on our place value chart. And so bundling and trading, we see that we eventually have one large, zero medium, and three small. And so we write this as one, zero, three, base four.